Basic algebra skills, grade D, GCSE or level 6. First of all we have an expanding the bracket question. All we have to remember here is to multiply both terms in the bracket by the number on the outside. So we times the 4 by the x to get 4x and times the 4 by the minus 3 to get minus 12. Shouldn't really get that one wrong. This next one is uh, sometimes difficult to spot that it's only one bracket. If it's early on on an exam paper it's unlikely to be two brackets. If you think about y squared as being y times y and we've got 7 times y and subtract there. So the thing that we have in both, we have a y in both. So we factorise out the y of the bracket and what's left is the y and the minus 7. Now you could think of this as a quadratic with a zero term on the end and therefore when we're trying to put it into double brackets we'll end up with a y plus zero term to multiply to get zero and to make the minus seven we need y minus seven so it's the same thing except for y plus zero we rewrite as y again only one mark solving the equation uh, three brackets p plus two equals eighteen it's a nice standard equation type question. It's a grade D level 6 equation because it has a bracket in it. So we usually get one mark for multiplying out the bracket, just like we did at the start there. So 3 lots of P and 3 lots of 2 is 6. So one mark for multiplying out the bracket. And then a little bit of manipulation, standard stuff, where we take away the 6 to get 12. And then we divide by the 3 to get 4. So P equals 4. Always, when you solve solving equations, the, the key to remember is doing opposites. So if you've got a plus 6, you subtract 6. If you've got times by 3, you divide by 3. 